Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a big day today on EAFC 24 because the hype starts to build for Team of the Year. Because today is the day where we get to actually cast our vote. And more importantly, it's the beginning of the buildup for the biggest promo of the year. What does that mean for today? Will it create market panic or will it not? And especially after lots of prices dropped yesterday, what is going to continue to happen on this market for the next couple of days? And what other content could make prices move? We're going to take a look at that today and more. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's SBCs to start things off with. We had a player SBC yesterday that was not the one that was expected. I don't know where this flashback Wellbeck is, man. EA literally said that we were getting a flashback Wellbeck in this last week, and we still haven't got one. Now, today on Monday, we'll look for a brand new content tweet, right? This week in Ultimate Team, we'll see what they have to say, if they post anything at all. Maybe the SBC is today. I don't know. But I thought we were going to get it yesterday because the way that EA's calendar has worked out before... That tweet is from Monday to Monday, but who knows, man. Hey, I'm not complaining. We got a very cheap Luis Muriel. He's got a finesse shot, incisive pass, Trivella, Rapid, Technical, and Flare Plus, which I think is the most useless play style in the game, personally. But when you look at the price of this card, being an 84-rated squad, it's literally 17,000 coins, 16,000 coins to do. Um, sure, like whenever you have some 84s, if... We get the 80-plus player pick back today, which we really, really need. If we get that back today, this is an SBC. Probably just get it done. Maybe stock it in the club. He might be sick for an Evo at some point. He's already 4-4 with good pace. Um, the way Evos are going, he might fit an Evo in like two or three weeks. Who knows, right? So that's an easy SBC. Shout out to EA for making that one cheap. <clears throat> that was very nice. Now, the big SBC yesterday was this one, right? The 87-plus base Centurions or Thunderstruck Icon player pick. And... First time all year we've had the chance to pack the Thunderstruck icons. And EA, since there's a huge now like upper range of icons you can pack from this. Think about Ronaldinho, Thunderstruck, you think Cafu, you think Pushkas, Cantona, Kaka. All those insane cards from the Thunderstruck promo that are available from this. EA said, hey, we're going to make you pay a little bit extra for that. 86, 87, and 87 rated squads with two informs required. Informs did have a nice spike yesterday, and so did the 86 and 87s, and a little bit of the 88s are up on the market as well because that's what people are buying the most right now to get this SBC done, right? There's big potential because you could pack Thunderstruck icons from this. Now, the weight that I've seen has not been that good. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this or not. It sounds like a fun SBC to do, of course, but again, we're really close to Team of the Year, guys. This is going to be a, an SBC that is totally designed to drain coins from your club. They do this all the time right before big promos. This is the most expensive icon SBC of the year when it comes to a pack. 360,000 coins, but it is also the best icon pack SBC or pick SBC that we have had all year. So, again, it is making fodder prices rise. 87s are 13k a piece. GG's. If you invested, nice rise from yesterday. Those These cards were like under 10,000 coins earlier last week when we were first looking at buying these cards. They're finally now starting to go up, which is incredible. But this is what we expected. You could probably even continue to hold on to these cards, in my opinion, as there's not a lot of people still opening packs on this game. Even though EA did drop some lightning rounds yesterday, uh, they dropped the 84 times 10, the 86 double. So they're trying to supply the fodder market a little bit. Uh, but it really, it hurt prices a little bit, but not too much and you can tell those fodder prices are going up now one pack they did drop yesterday which i still think this pack design is insane so props to ea for that but they dropped the ultra versus pack which is that 88 times 14 and that did actually hurt some 89s and 90s i noticed specifically that 90s were down a bit on the market yesterday i was able to go and pick up a few i think that's a part of the fodder market that is still pretty low. Uh, I was picking up 90s at like 50,000 coins on bid. I bet you could get KDB under 70K. That's a really good price as well. Um, even the 88s, like under 18, is, or around 18K is probably tough to get, but it's okay. And then if you don't have stocked up 83s, 84s, 85s, another good opportunity to stock up on those because yeah, they're low now, but there will be a time in the next two weeks where this stuff does go up because of packs that people will be wanting to save for team of the year. So just to shout that out. And then I do want to look at team of the weeks. We mentioned that they went up. I actually bought team of the weeks. I bought high rated ones. I bought um, 86 rated team of the weeks for 35,000 coins on Saturday night. 
Uh, and I was able to sell all, I think I bought like 15 or 20 of those. I sold them all for 40,000 coins to 42K. The Team of the Weeks had a really nice spike. They were all like 38, 39,000 coins, but they're back down. And the reason why they're back down so much, like they're even lower than they were on Saturday, right? They're 33K, 34,000 coins right now. The reason why Team of the Weeks are dropping is because this SBC, that icon uh, pick, was only one time. You couldn't do it multiple times like the other player picks that were require informs for icon packs and stuff like that have been recently so informs are looking a little interesting again if you wanted to go a little bit risky with it i mean 33k 32k on bid maybe it's not a bad price but we need to get another sbc and it has to be a pack like maybe an 80 something plus player pick comes out and it requires an inform we already have the 84 times five so that's there will they give us more packs to try to uh, give us more opportunities to save packs for team of the year and also drain coins from our club, there's a potential for that. That's why I like investing in the 82s to the 84s, at least stocking your club, and then also keeping an eye on the informs. I know they're expensive. I know it seems risky, but they do continue to move each and every week. So maybe they could move later on this week at some point as well. We'll just have to see what type of SBC content that we get. Now, let's take a look at, before we go into some market situations, because there were a lot of prices yesterday on the market that dropped off a ton. Winter wild cards that, um, you know, we got we to gotta talk a lot about the market for sure. But we're going to say that for a second, because we also had, yet again, an evolution that was dropped yesterday. And like we were expecting, it was another right wing evolution. Now this one, there's only one of, there's not two, but it's the cut inside Evo. And it is also a hundred thousand coins which is kind of like oh man two back-to-back -back days of a hundred thousand coin evos or 500 fc points which doesn't seem near as much as a hundred thousand coins but that's why it's cheap to make you try to spend fc points for sure this one's very interesting because um i looked in my club right away and i saw that kulusevsky fit this and some of the other players that fit the finisher evolution fit this cut inside evo as well um and it, to me it's definitely not as good. You don't get a play style plus. You do get the center forward position and a weak foot boost and the power shot play style. It's not that hard to get done. So I'm a fan of it. I think it is a very solid upgrade. You get plus eight shooting, plus two pace, and then you get plus five passing and uh, five physical, four or five physical. Like that is a really solid upgrade. Um, especially for some of the double chain evos that you can get. Now, we've already done a big deep dive on this evolution and the finisher evolution on the second YouTube channel. We uploaded a video there yesterday. So if you want to check that out at the end of this video, go ahead and do so. I don't want to keep talking about Evos because we did talk about it a lot in yesterday's video. But of course, this one's not as well received. But I think it's just because the finisher objective dropped. That made some cards look insane. Um, and really what yesterday's Evo was with the cut inside Evo is it created really crazy evolutions like this Anthony. Like this is probably one of the most Evoed cards right now. Anthony, you can take him all the way up to an 88 rated card with almost 90 shooting, almost 90 pace, 93 dribbling, and five star skills with a four star weak foot, which I sincerely think this is the best version of Anthony you're going to see in this game unless EA give him a promo card and whatever promo is after a team of the year. And I still don't even know if they're going to make him 88 rated. They might, maybe, but still think about between now and then you can get this card done and use this Anthony and your team for a while. That's a sick card. There's so many other really good uh, Evos inside of this gold. Felipe Anderson is almost, if not better uh, than Anthony. He's a five star weak foot and four star skills. And he's got some great play styles in there as well with the Trivella plus like he's, I think his gold cards extinct on the market. Uh, um, there's some other ones in here that only fit the cut inside, like Nicole Palmer. A lot of people invested in his card, his inform uh, for that rise. And uh, yeah, man, so lots of options here. There are some really, really crazy double Evos. I don't know if it's not nah, David Neres and the Welcome to Evolutions. I think it's the, maybe, is it the 87 rated one that's like straight from his gold card? This card looks nasty as well. Uh, there are so many right wings that people are going to be putting into their teams from Evolutions, guys. And that's what we talked a lot about in that video on the second channel so i'll post a link to it right up here now but we'll also um post a link at the end of the video if you want to check it out there after this video is over now let's talk about the market because with that evolution which costs 100,000 coins and it's back-to-back -back days once again where we have a paid evolution that has some hype to it and it's creating some really crazy evos back-to-back -back days that people are selling cards to go to afford an evolution and at the same time we have an icon player pick that people are selling cards for to go and afford to do the SBC. you have got prices around this market that are dropping like 
crazy. Some of the winter wild cards, like remember when in Kunku on Friday uh, with the Sterling SBC coming out, the Sterling SBC almost seems like an afterthought right now, uh, honestly, in my mind, because of like, wow, all the other content has come out. This card in Kunku was 970,000 coins on Friday, and he is now 769K. You can look across almost the entire market right now, especially on the middle to top tier. Cards that are like 300,000 coins plus, and you can see that there were some pretty sizable drops yesterday on just about everything. Gold cards, out of packs cards. Mookie LA went from like 115K uh, down to 90 91,000 coins. Now he's back up to 100,000 coins, but some panic selling and just prices that were probably too expensive for their own good um, getting corrected in price, right? Rafinha's 300,000 coins again, but he's really not rebounding that much this time. I heard that um, uh, some people were picking up Eder Militao for super cheap as well. Yesterday, there was some pretty good movement. 520K is crazy. I can't imagine that he was there for that long as it shows on the graph. Um, there were a lot of price drop-offs yesterday. And again, it's a combination of two things. One, people selling cards to do this SBC to get coins to buy the fodder. And two, people also selling cards to go and get coins to afford the evolution. And guys, we're getting closer and closer to team of the year. And as we're going to talk about it today, the market is just getting to more and more of a spot where we're entering into the lull before team of the year, where you're going to see people that are going to spend less coins on cards for their team uh, because they want to be careful. They know the market is expected to drop during this time. It's kind of like a situation where people are hesitant to buy. And then the people that are like, oh my goodness, I got to get out because team of the year is coming. It kind of just creates a situation where the market just kind of slowly drops. There'll be a couple days of panic like yesterday when there's good content. But I just feel like we're entering into a pre-massive promo period where we're going to see a lot of prices just really start to slowly drop it might not be a crazy crazy fast drop right now we've already had some big drops in the last couple of days because of content right uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about how today's news of team of the year impacts things um, but there were so many drops in the market yesterday so the safe play at the moment is to be liquid right and i am the exact opposite of liquid but that's because we're going for it because we need to make some coins for more upgrade packs during team of the year uh, if you're going to try to trade right now on this market the one thing that i would tell you is Focus on rare cards. Like I bought Barella yesterday. I actually think I bought him before the content drop. Um, he right here. I, I think it was right here, 328. Like he got an undercut at 310, and I was like, that's a price for this card that I'm like, okay, I know we're getting towards team of the year. He's probably gonna end up dropping off to like 300,000 coins below 300k, maybe 250, maybe 200k at some point in the next like two weeks, right? But for a one day flip, I was like, okay. He's really rare still. This is one of the best midfielders in Serie A. Whenever I see him at 300K or 310, I just insta buy it because he goes back to like 340. And he did that, right? So I was able to flip a Barella yesterday. That's the type of thing that you can maybe trade with right now. It's risky, but the cards that get panic sold a ton that drop off a lot that are out of pack special cards that are popular and rare. We talk about that all the time, right? Popular cards and rare cards. You can catch some bounce backs there on some of those. Um, and again, I, I'm trying to stick to the lower tier, lower budget. What about Oshawala? She went down to 196. It looking like maybe she's going to go back to 210. But it, that's the risky part with this, right? When you see a card that drops off a ton in value, you're, you're investing and you're hoping for a quick flip, but not all the time does the card rebound back. So that's the really risky part with trading in the market right now. I would stay away from right wing. As you can see, like McManaman was 120. He's now 105. Julie is 120. He was 150, I think, uh, earlier. Just be very careful with right wing position players because of, um, oh, I bet Diani dropped off yesterday too because of an, another right wing card. But because people are doing those Evos, right? Wow, 606K down to 540. And she's back up a little bit right now, like 550, 560. Um, yeah, so I would be careful. And I'm not even really trying to buy too many attackers right now in this game as well. Strikers, I mean, people get the center forward position from the cut inside Evo that was dropped yesterday. It's going to hurt strikers, left wing, right wing, like all attackers in this game are hurt a lot in price right now because of that Evo. So just be very careful. Again, the safe play is to be liquid or to be buying fodder. Think about it, right? There's still SBCs that people are going to be wanting to, to doing during this time period, like icon packs, maybe even some player SBCs. A lot of people, myself included, are very interested in Maldini, 
people are still crafting Mbappe, they're crafting the Eusebio, the Zidane, these guys are still available for a long time, the Del Piero, right, the Hullet, SBC, these cards are still available and a lot of people are doing them, that's why I've invested in some 90s like I mentioned, and I got a club stock, some of that lower tier fodder, so I'm ready for those other packs that are going to come out, I just feel like it's going to be a time where, especially if people start to sell off cards from their team, they're going to have more coins liquid and available to go and do some of those SBCs for packs they could save up during Team of the Year, right? That's another thing that happens a lot during this time period. You see some movements on the market like that. So that's one thing I would tell you to kind of view the market in that way right now on this game. Be invested in fodder or keep those coins pretty liquid. And if you're going to trade, stick to low budget, less than 100,000 coins because that is still where the most demand is on this game. And you see prices move the most there. Quick shout for the versus cards. They dropped off a ton yesterday. I have a Ramos right now, a Ramos fire card that I bought at 550 because like, bro, you're telling me that this is the only Ramos or two, two Ramos cards in the game. People are going to wake up today and want to try them in champs. This, this guy went from 700 highs, almost 800K on Sunday, down to 550K where I was able to pick mine up. Like, that's that's a disgusting drop-off. Do I think he's worth 6, 700K? Not right now, but these cards are crazy rare, and people want to try stuff out. So we might risk it for a quick flip there today. Uh, I was looking at Firmino as well. This is a card that so many people want to try. So if you want a risky flip too, look at the versus cards because they're rare. They're popular. It seems like the ice cards are maybe a little bit more rare on some cards. It just depends on the card. So kind of pay attention to that as well when you're looking at some of these. Um, some of them look better for the fire version. Some of the um, them look better for the ice. It just depends. But yeah, they do fluctuate really well. Just again, they are in packs. So that's what you have to worry about. And uh, yeah, that's... Continuing with the market talk, I think we got to turn the stone, turn the page, turn over the stone, uncover what is coming today and talk about what is coming today because that kind of continues the market conversation in a sense as well in regards to will there be further panic and will there be further price drops because of the big news and really the hype that's going to be beginning to build today. And that is with the team of the year vote that starts today, guys. Now, I don't know what time it starts, maybe an hour before content, maybe right at content. We'll have to see. The web page is already open and they've already got the nominees listed here. Remember the nominee listings that were tweeted out earlier in the week with leaks? Remember like Frimpong and some of those defenders were in the attacker side of things? Well, EA got it fixed. Uh, they got it sorted. So Frimpong and Klaus are no longer listed under attackers, but they got the right list here for the, the men's and the women's team of the year nominees. Um, and yeah, the hype builds for this today. And, you know, like a lot of things with FC24 compared to FIFA 23 and FIFA 22, it seems like EA is going more all out for this. Remember how they had the big reveal event last year in the spring about FC24 and all the new features? Well, they're doing another sort of like reveal show today with uh, one of the most popular shows in football with the um i think it's the galazzo show with mike richards jamie Carragher, like uh they've got alex scott they've got jude bellingham and uh puteas that are going to be as a part of this as well like literally on the show i think this is something that was filmed beforehand and they're going to be it's going to be a live show that we'll be able to watch today and they're going to pick their team of the year and probably reveal some interesting information about it as well i was trying to like look in the background here you can see the team of the year design uh, you know, I was trying to like see if there's going to be any like, you know, Easter eggs in here. I, I read the fine print, didn't see much. This is the team of the year, either honorable mentions or the nominees design that we'll probably see today on the web page when putting our team of the year vote in. But ultimately what this does is it builds the hype for team of the year. It gets everybody talking, right? Today's one of the fun days where, oh, your team of the year vote sucks. Mine's better. Or this player needs to get in. Or the, the discussion begins today as well of like, this player deserves a team of the year because they had a great year statistically what they accomplished was great and then and then other people vote for team of the year based off of cards that they want to see in this game since it's a video game right i don't think either of those reasons are right or wrong i think today is just fun today is just uh, opinions go wild and it's a lot of fun to have that of course with the voting but of course it also just lets team of the year like sink in it's like okay the voting is out for team of the year so like we're getting close to this promo actually starting. Um, and that could create a little bit of panic today. That's why I'm kind of sitting here like, okay, Ramos, go up in price for me, my bro, so I can get this flip and get this card out and make my coins because there could be some price drops on the rest of the meta market, winter wild cards and stuff like that. Um, today as well, as people see this news, I would say like, man, if I look at some of the market right now, we've had some panic, but it's been because of 
I would say good content. It's been good content recently that has dropped prices. It hasn't so much so been just like pure panic of, oh my goodness, team of the year is here. We had some team of the year panic like last week, right? With the really top tier stuff when the vote was first announced. Remember that? Like when Mia Hamm and R9 and Dino went down and Puteas went down to 1.4 mil, then back to 1.6. She's not even 1.4 mil right now. She's still like 1.5, right? But I think we're going to see a slow continuation of some of those listings and some of that panic start today. It might not be a crazy day where crisis, prices just crash like crazy because there's got to be some other sort of catalyst, right? Um, unless there's everybody in the trading world and everybody on Twitter X is saying, you got to sell your cards now. Like, I don't think that's going to happen. Like, especially on the lower tier, a lot of casuals who are playing this game. Yeah, there might be a loading screen. There might be some panic. But I don't think it's going to be like a crazy, crazy day of panic. Like I said earlier, I feel like it's just going to be a day where things are like not as many people are buying. So prices just kind of slowly drop off during the week. And if we do have a big drop in, in prices today, it would mostly be because of like some sort of insane content. That's what I would think would make price, prices crash more in a one day time frame uh, than just panic for a buildup. I think we'll see bigger crashes in price later on, like when we're legit, like next week, right on the doorstep of team of the year. We'll see more crashes then. But for right now, I think it's a slow drop. But if you want to get your coins, like it's OK time to sell. There have been higher prices, but there probably will be lower prices still to come on a lot of different cards. So that's kind of what I'm thinking today for the market. Like I'm invested in fodder. I'm invested in some quick flips and just trying to trade with cards that are on the lower tier. Like it just seems like people really like the Thunderstrucks. That's a team of players that I would shout to you guys. Thunderstruck like Bernardo Silva is still 100,000 coins, right? He's barely dropped. And that's a card that so many people are liking right now and using on a lower budget. Katoto for the PSG links. Joe Gomez, he's, dry, he's down, but that's a card that people like to use. Gabby Jesus, this is a card that went up since um, the middle, of, since Christmas, 135K. He was 180,000 coins, right? That low tier market doing so good. And now he's dropped off to 156K. This is still a card that people would want to get involved in. He's 135 and he went all the way back to 150. Boom. There's a great example of a card that you can watch for during panic selling or just an honestly card to trade with during the week this week um, because lower budget and in demand for sure. That's a card to watch out for. Um, so click through some of these old promo teams. Try to keep it more recent with like winter wild cards, radioactive and stuff like that because more people like those cards better, especially with some of the icons because they have better stats, of course, since they're more recent. But those are some really good cards to trade with through the next week or so as the market's going to be doing a little bit of this and of course being invested and fodder. Now let's talk about today. What content's going to come today apart from the team of the year vote and all that madness and all that? Uh, it's Monday. It's upgrade pack day and we are in dire need of something, okay? Because the winter wild cards crafting upgrade, it's cool, right? But uh, the 80 plus player pick has spoiled us the past two or three weeks, however long we've had that. If that doesn't drop today, our expectations are set here, right? If we get something else other than that, people are going to be disappointed and that's going to really hurt the menu grind. But what that will help is probably the fodder rises. So that's one way you can look at it. If the upgrade pack today is not good, that might help fodder go up during the week. If we still have an 84 times five that people will need 83s and 82s for maybe the occasional 84 as well for a team of the week player pick, right? That you need for the 84 times five as well. So I kind of like that sort of thing happening to, uh, on this market this week. But also if we have the 80 plus player pick, that would be super nice for crafting packs as well. Um, maybe another evolution today, guys, too. This is actually, we've been having evolutions a lot. It's like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We've had evolutions in the past couple of weeks. And uh, there are some prices moving on the market right now. And I wanted to show you guys this. This is a little suspect. Um, you know how we had all the right wing prices like Rodrigo and stuff like that going crazy, right? Well, if you take a look at the top of Footbin right now, you might see Ferlin Mendy. You might see Teo Hernandez, Alfonso Davies, maybe an inform left back. There must be a left back Evo leak because Ferlin Mendy is 8.8K or 8.5K right now. And according to his graph yesterday, yeah, he was 4,000 coins. So we have doubled in price in less than four or five hours on Ferlin Mendy. Um, and some other left backs like Teo Hernandez is up 80%. Alfonso Davies is up 57%. And I was I saw a couple of informs in here as well. Uh, there's like a Bundesliga left back. Yeah, this guy looks kind of cracked, man. Left back Bernardo, who can also play center back. With those stats, 
It sounds like there's a left back evil that's coming and the market agrees. The investors with the leaks are out and they are buying cards. So watch out for that. If you have a left back in your team that is tradable, I've already started to see a card. One card that I noticed is Zinchenko. Radioactive is down. He's usually like 90K and I know we had some panic yesterday. So his price could be down also because of that. But I looked at his price and he was like 80, unless it was a footbin undercut. Footbin said he was 83K, but if there is a left back evil that isn't coming, there would probably be some panic on a card like this or some of your other really popular left backs here in the game right now. I mean, one that I think of, I think of Andrew Robertson's. This might be a little bit of an older card, but Trailblazers Andy Robertson, 130,000 coins. It's kind of around where he normally is, but this is a card that's definitely going to drop heading into Team of the Year as we get maybe Team of the Year honorable mentions, maybe another evolution this is a card that could go up after team of the year too if it drops off enough but just be careful with tradable left backs in your team if we are to get an evolution it might not be today it might be some that's coming in the next couple days who knows but i mean there's reasonable suspicion to believe that there is a left back evolution i'm coming just because of how those prices are moving on the market so watch out for that now one thing about evolutions that i want to point out to you guys as well i didn't mention this earlier in yesterday's video um there's a situation right now in this game and i'm gonna have to say this is probably gonna get patched i, I don't know if it like it just seems like remember when we had the evo glitch before it got patched this is not quite on that level of craziness but this is how to get two playstyle pluses on your Evo card. There are people right now that have two playstyle pluses on some of their cards. The problem is you can't do it again until, uh, I think it was Trey the Train. This is his information. You can check out his Twitter or Alex Foot, where this uh, is on how to do it. You have to have a play, you have to have an evolution that gives a playstyle plus as a reward. Like people that did the rare defender upgrade for Cancelo's gold and then put him into Pep's legacy. Um, you know, there was a whole situation with that. But if you let the card expire when they get the playstyle plus, like if you like literally just let it sit, like let's say whatever Evo I'm doing right now for, um, which I will end up doing Sessegnon in Pep's legacy. So he'll end up getting the incisive pass evolution. So when Pep's legacy ends in... How many days? 14 days. If my Sessignon is completed and just sitting there, and if I wait, which would be annoying, but if I would wait until the end of it, then theoretically, I would be able to let that evolution expire, be it completed, but then it would allow me to then put that card with the Playstyle Plus into another evolution, uh, even though some of these Evos say that if it's giving a Playstyle Plus, um, like max playstyle plus is zero. So that's a whole kind of crazy situation. But I don't think that you're going to be able to do this sort of double playstyle plus thing until 12 days from now, because that is when the next evolution that gives a playstyle plus actually expires, because none of these give playstyle pluses. Um, yeah, like a rock doesn't, the growth spurt does. That one expires in 13 days. So that's also a long time for EA to try to patch something like this. So if you want to check this out, it's at Trey the Train on Twitter and at Alex underscore foot. There's a nice little thread here if you want to read through that um, because that might help you if you're in a situation where that seems interesting to you, um, especially down the line, maybe the next 11, 12 days. It would be interesting to give a shot, but it also sounds like one of those things that maybe is tough to figure out ish and probably going to get patched before we actually get uh, to 12 days from now when it would potentially work. So again, this is the state of my account at the moment. This is the Ramos that I picked up for 547. I'm hoping that this bro. Yeah. See, somebody keeps listening here at like 590. Uh, is it a trade? Let's see. It is not. Okay. Well, they at least played some games on it. Right. And then there's a 610,000 coin version right there. So I'm hoping that Ramos can go back to like 600 K plus. And here's all of the nineties that I picked up for like 50 to 51 K. It's not that many, uh, but I did pick up a decent amount. And also I tell you this too, like this Athenia card, she went all the way up to like 20,000 coins and then dropped off like crazy. She's still going to be a card. That I think a lot of people will do in an evolution and she's out of packs and pretty rare. Um, so if there's ever cards that are maybe in forms that are like really hyped for an Evo, even like little bro Sane, he's, he went from like 20,000 coins all the way down to 13 K. If these cards go like up a bunch, then back down to discard, but they still look really good as an actual Evo, feel free to stock one in your club. That's what I'm doing here with Athenia. Cause this is just a card that I feel like might rise back up to like 20,000 coins in the next two weeks as this Evo is out. If we get a left back Evo that Ferland Mendy is popular in, maybe some more 
players from Liga F for team of the year, like that's a situation where I think might be interesting to stock a couple in your club on. And um, also today, have to mention this because I am invested in one Kolo Moani. We are getting the FC Pro Live uh, stuff is back today with the streams, with the players playing their games. Now, I will mention that uh, there is an objective available where you can actually get some packs. So make sure you uh, link your account under the FC Pro Live. But I picked up a Colomani at 350 yesterday because I was like, okay, that's pretty cheap. And I think right now he's he's been around 360 to 3. Yeah, he's right now he's like 370. Um, but this is a card that's kind of low, and he has potential to get an, another upgrade today because he's on Colomani, I think, has the best potential because he can get three upgrades. He can get an alternate position play style, and then um, if his pro, Lucas, wins up to 10 points, right? He's already on four points or three points in the table. If he gets up to 10 points in the games today, he would get an 89 rated overall boost. And I think after today as well, like Malin has the potential to get even more boost in terms of rating, although a lot of people already have the Malin, right? From Evos, a plus one in form upgrade and a play style for qualifying. And after today, players in this group will be able to qualify for the final, which I think it's either, I think it's top two in the group. So it's looking good for Malin and Renan Lodi, but you never know. Somebody could go off today, and at least maybe Mane has potential to upgrade too. Maybe even Jean Rowe has potential if Mark 11 can get some points to go a one in form upgrade, which would take him to an 86 and then an alternate position and play style. You never know, right? So watch out for these cards. And I will say this as well some of the cards that don't play um this week but play in like future weeks this is going to get people thinking about these live cards once again and probably investing in them now again a little bit risky heading into team of the year of course but that's a part of the market to watch out on right now in this game too so that's the video for me today guys i'm hoping that today's content is is decent and i'm excited for the team of the year vote for sure let me know down below who you think's in your team of the year without even having the vote we got the names in the list that are out right Who's getting into your team of the year? For me, I got to put Hyun Min Son in there. Actually, I probably put a Harry Kane as well, even though he's not a Spurs anymore. What a man. So that's we'll be doing a lot of that fun stuff today on stream as well. That link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there. But if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Check out the video on the second channel about the evolutions, and I'll see you guys in the stream today. Thanks for watching again, guys. Appreciate all the support as we start off this new year. It's been Nate for the count. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.